Are you Ray today? Oh, Ray's one of my favorite. I love your helmet. He's double protected. Oh, wow. Hi, Miss Smith. Welcome to Winkly. Hello, how are y'all? Good, how are you? Good. So can y'all tell me what today is? Uh, today is May the 4th. <laughs> All right, so where are we going? So we're going down here to go talk to Miss Murphy, and she's going to talk to us about our special needs kids. Hi. Hi. Y'all know how sometimes kids um, are born with a condition that may make it hard for them to learn to walk or learn to talk. And so the reason that this hallway is one of my favorites is because my um, own son was born with autism, and he couldn't talk when he was three or four years old. So he came to a classroom just like these ones, and he learned how to express his thoughts and his feelings, and I just think that that's so magical. So these teachers are definitely Jedi masters. <laughs> we just help our kids discover what goals are really important to them and how they learn best. Yeah, well that is definitely magical. <laughs> so Miss Allie, was my son's ELE teacher. Oh my God, there she is. Oh, she's right over here. <laughs> we have a very loose Perfect tooth. Perfect timing. Oh. <laughs> is this your first loose tooth? Oh, your second one? Uh-oh, there it comes. They're just gonna start coming out now. Well, that's definitely exciting. <laughs> so my son went to ELE here. Oh. And like many kids here, he came here and he couldn't he was nonverbal for the first four years of his life. Aww. So I was telling him a little bit about your classroom. Yes. I had her littlest, Jack, when he was Aww. in here. Oh my goodness. Miss Ali is truly a Jedi master. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Did y'all see the guinea pig? Oh, he's adorable. I had like fish. We would always take the guinea pig home, not that one, but Snickers. Oh my. <laughs> he had Comet. Comet. And, um, my husband was never happy about that. <laughs> We started with hybrid, and it, it actually turned out really well because all of the students were pretty much able to stay with their teachers. And as we noticed, you know, um, we ended up having to do that blended learning eventually across the district in a lot of places just because the teachers want to keep their students. <laughs> so, I mean, that, that, that is the beautiful thing is that relationships and connections were super deep this year and we were able to, you know, build on that, so. And my class is, I have um, 11 virtuals and 10 in person. So this was an example of a <laughs> class that started virtual, and as the students rolled in, Mrs. Hamlin said, I really wanna keep my students, so I'm gonna go ahead and try to do hybrid, well, <laughs> blended learning. Uh -huh. So, um, how's that going? I, it's going well, I started out with just two which was interesting. They had the whole class to themselves, yes. and they've kind of come back slowly but surely, and I have another one joining me tomorrow. So yeah. how's that so. been this year? At the beginning of a year, a challenge to figure out how do I make what we're doing accessible right. and equitable for both our roomies and our zoomies. <laughs> um, and, and as we've moved on, it's, it's become more second nature to, right. to do that. I have to just tell you that Mrs. Everard was the one who spearheaded the idea of maintaining connections from the beginning. She supported her team in leading that and how they were going to roll that out, and then also supported fourth grade in doing the same. So, brilliant mind. We just didn't want the kids to have to change friends, change teachers. I love it though. They moved They're... mode. Right. I love it, especially during this year. I think that that is just remarkable yeah. that you guys were able to do that for these students because it's just that one key piece that just makes everything. So thank you so much. It's a testament to it's not always You're gonna, easy, uh, but if it's good for kids, these teachers figure yeah. it out. Yep. So uh, thank, thank you, you so Mrs. Much. Everard. Oh, <laughs> uh, this visits always make me cry. What classroom is this? This is our counselor's classroom, and she has led mindful student leaders. The students are trained to teach other classes mindfulness. If you do something bad, you have to. Um, say sorry to them and to, to avoid that you have to walk away and just breathe. Just thinking of like the life skills that they're <laughs> acquiring from yeah. this. I mean just with all the stress exactly. that we have in life and just coming off this last year for them to have these 
tools. This is huge. And all this self-awareness of their emotions and others. What I love also is like the collaboration, like they're the leaders. And they so are the leaders. Their peers are going to be, they're going to have more of an impact on their peers. And I think that that is just, Absolutely. it's how we grow successful citizens. I know. <laughs> I love this. Well, I can't wait to see these fifth graders go over to the middle school because I feel like we really need this in middle school and high school. So this is Miss Harper. Hi, hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. This is for you. Can you tell me why you recognized Miss Harper? I had to. I had to send a teacher to rec for recognition, and I chose Miss Harper because she was my third grade teacher, and she was like one of my favorite teachers. I'm gonna say it's a little quiet, <laughs> but she was one of my favorites. She just always was there to help me, and yeah. I love her. What can I say? <laughs> so I want to give you a positive office referral for all that you do for our school oh. and how much you have just inspired us. Oh, you guys! Thank y'all so much. You're welcome. Oh my God! Why these visits always make me cry? I just hope that y'all know that I appreciate you. You guys gave me a great visit. I needed this today, so thank you so much. And I'm looking forward to see how you grow and see where y'all go at the next step because you two are definitely going to be some amazing leaders.